Hello there, this is David Wormsey and in this video I wanted to show you how you could change the default content that appears in the footer when you first activate the Beaver Builder theme. And it looks like this, there's a copyright symbol followed by two pieces of dynamical programming content, the first being the present year which will automatically change as the years change. The second is the site title which is the thing that you set under general settings in your WordPress install, this is a made up name here, and finally the pipe and power bar my beaver builder is just static content. Now what I want to do in this video mainly is to retain uh, this date information that's programmed in and just make some changes to the links over here. But if your requirements are that you just want to entirely change the footer content here, that it, there's a very easy way to do that through the customizer. So before I move on to my thing, I'll just show you the very easy options first. Okay, so we would go over to the customize when logged in, and I've already opened this up just to speed things up. We would head down to the footer section into footer layouts, and this is the setup we've got at the moment, which is one column, it centers everything here, and it's set at text at the moment. Now, up to the point where I put content in here, the uh, programmed content will show, but as soon as I enter anything in here, uh, it starts to remove that and display our own content here. And in these text uh, areas here, we can add in HTML as well. While I'm here, I'll just quickly cover the options here. You can play around with this at your own leisure, but the layout options are a none, which removes the footer entirely, one which we were on, and we can go into two columns, which gives us uh, two sections. And also they've already added in some templated uh, text here, which shows you you can use the HTML because there's a link there. And finally, in each side of these two option layouts, we can uh, select whether we want text to go in it, social icons, which is also set in the customizer. And we can have text and social icons, and we can even put a menu. So there's a lot of variation we can get easily. But I wanted, if you remember, I wanted to keep this programmed information. I wanted the, the copyright year to change each year. And we cannot do that through the customizer. Uh, we have to uh, start to change some of the files in the Beaver Builder theme. But what I want to show you is that it's not very difficult. It's something you can easily do. So that's what we're going to move on to next. And just before we get rid of our browser and start looking at the theme files themselves, I thought I'd mention that I'm working on my local machine. And I do that using desktop server from serverpress.com. And these are worth checking out. I do pay for the premium version here, but the free version allows you to have three WordPress installs on your machine and to work on those. And if you combine this with a uh, backup plugin such as Updraft Plus, uh, you'll be able to save all your work and put those up to your server when you've completed your site. Just makes it very handy to work with. Slight distraction, I'm sorry, but I uh, thought I'd just mention that. Okay, so let's get rid of our browser now. And here I am in my uh, root directory for my site. So it's got all my WordPress uh, files in here. So to get to our theme files, I need to go into WP content and over to the themes folder. And there we have our parent and child themes. Now, if you're not used to this, it's quite important to understand how this works. It's always a good idea to have and install a child theme and make that active. The reason being is that uh, if we make any modifications, anything that's in the child theme is going to re remain when there are updates. And when a uh, uh, Beaver Builder theme update comes, anything that we had changed in the actual parent theme itself will get overwritten uh, and we don't want that to happen. So what we're actually trying to do here is we're looking for uh, the file that made that uh, date and uh, a site title information show in the footer that's in the parent theme and we need to make a copy of it to put into our child theme and then we can modify uh, that version, which will remain when there are updates. So I hope that's clear because that's quite important. So the theme that with the file that we're looking for is as obviously in the parent, and in, I know it's in includes, and it's called copyright PHP. So I've already taken a copy just to speed things up over here. So this is what I do. I need that full directory because it needs to match. So let's just go back to our child um, 
bear with. Okay, so we just need to go into our child theme here. And all I needed to do here is to copy over um, the folder because we need to keep the same directory as we it had before. So we needed the folder includes and we just need the one file in there. Now I've already made the modifications here, but let me just show you quickly first in the parent theme um, what that file looked like before I show you the changes I made. So it includes copyright and I'm opening this up here. Now I'm going to take you on another quick distraction if I may. Uh, if you're not used to doing this thing, chances are you've probably just got like a normal notepad and it makes it more, you can work with it, but it makes it more difficult to see what's going on because uh, using this notepad plus plus here uh, uh, highlights uh, some of the syntax over here it makes it easier to read. So let me just quickly recommend a couple of things. If you're on a Windows, I would recommend this free program, which is Note pad plus plus download that's very light and loads quickly if you're a mac user i'm not so sure it's been a long time since i've used mac i think this one by bare bones called text wrangler will be fine if not can i recommend that you go to wpbeginner.com and uh, there's a great article here which gives you 12 uh, code editors for mac and windows for editing files so uh, again let's go back to what we were doing so we're looking now at the copyright php uh, as it is unchanged uh, so this is the version that's in the uh, parent theme and uh, as you can see here, we've just got some with this div class here is just uh, marking up uh, areas so they can be styled. But where the content we're interested in starts is over here. This creates the copyright symbol. And the date was coming in through this uh, function here, which is part of WordPress here, which echoes out the date and it was set to year. We could change that to M and it would show month. And we've got this blog info name, which is what was pulling in our site title. Again, if that was changed to description, it would show the description, which is in general settings. And the rest of it, the pipe here was put in a span and the rest of this uh, is the links that we saw. And all I'm trying to do here is to change this bit. I want to keep this, uh, all this program stuff in here. I just wanted to change the links over here which I've already done in my um, folder. Let me just go, whoops, dear, dear, dear. There we go, into our child theme. As I say, I've already put the includes in with that folder in there. And if I just open this up, you can see I've popped in my own uh, credits in here. I wanted to add in beaver tunnels as well as the tool that I use uh, to make sites now. So that's already in my child theme. So all I need to do is to show you that it's actually worked. So let's pop back to our original site and I just need to do a refresh. And if we keep our eye out here, we will see, uh, there we are. So I've kept the uh, original dynamic content here and added this in here too. Now what I may also do if I got some history on my uh, site I might also want to put a, a to and from date because I don't always quite like the idea that it changes to the present date if I, my site's got a bit of history because that's a bit of uh, social proof if you like. So uh, that would be quite easy to do that. We would just need to make sure that before the date here that we just added uh, another date. So if I put in uh, 2011 let's imagine the site's coming from here and I'll put in a dash okay and let's just save out that content and just make sure that that's in our child theme it is okay so I amended one and we'll pop back and just do another refresh here and there we are okay so i probably needed to put another space here for the dash but you get the point and uh and that really covers how you can make uh, this sort of simple change here 
And finally, just to make this video even longer, you don't need to listen to this. Some of you may be wondering what I'm actually doing on this test site here. So it is a real site. It's not going to go up on a uh, site called uh, Beaver Building. This is a, a bit of a, a project that I'm creating that I hope will be of use to the Beaver Builder community. It's only just started. And I want to make the use of um, the new power of Beaver Builder 1.8, where you are able to save modules and individual pages page templates and export with those uh, on the page templates, uh, CSS and uh, JavaScript as well. So uh, on other videos I've been doing, some folks spotted some of the template work I've been doing on a sort of private site there and it had a few little effects. So let me just show you one effect that was on there. Uh, this site is still to be produced at the moment, but uh, I did get asked about, let me just move my browser a bit here so it's the normal view. Uh, it's a bit slow loading. My internet is shockingly bad, but uh, a few effects that I mess around with, and I do this quite a lot, is like the sloping rows effect over here, which I stole from someone else from the community, and things like um, doing some stuff with uh, the uh, tabs module here. These are kind of things I often do. So I've started already, and um, Hopefully in another video coming soon when 1.8 is out, I want to do my videos uh, around looking at particular modules and what you can do with them. So in 1.8, we've got uh, the ability to set individual colors on um, icons that were in an icon group. So I'm just adding some extra little um, effects and stuff with CSS here. And I want to show you how I've done them. But more importantly, I want to allow you to be able to go in and log into a demo site that will create your own WordPress install and be able to save out any of the content you like and use it for your own projects. So that's what I'm up to next. Uh, if anybody's interested in helping me out on this, well, I'm sure we'll find a way that you get attributed properly or use your or affiliate links or whatever if you wanted to jump on board on doing something like this but this is going to be the future i think of my videos but who knows yet uh, i'll wait to see what the reaction's like but uh, there's no uh, plans this is really important to say that this is not going to be a commercial project i will use these for my own projects and i want to share them with the community the only thing i shall do is put some affiliate links on on some things uh, in case i attract new people to beaver builder and uh, or to beaver tunnels the new product uh, for beaver builder Okay, I have waffled on for some time. Thank you once again for listening to me. I really hope that I've managed to get over something useful. Love to hear your comments and uh, sure, pull me up on anything that I've uh, misled anyone on. Thanks very much for listening. Talk to you soon. Bye.